I add a fill layer and rename it to base color. Under the materials panel, I'll change the base color to a mid-tone blue. I also turn the roughness all the way to 0.9. Use Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and rename it to dirt. I right click and add a black mask. With the black mask selected, I right click on the black mask and add a fill. Under the textures options, I search for dirt maps. Choose Grunge Scratches Dirty and drag it onto the grayscale of the properties panel. I change the blending mode to Linear Burn. I then select the Grunge map and increase the contrast and balance parameters. I also change the offset transformations. I use Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and rename it to Curvature. With the black mask selected, I delete the fill layer and add a Curvature Generator. I change the blending mode back to normal. I then change the balance and the contrast parameters. I change the Use Texture slot to True. I search for Grunge. And drag the Grunge Dirt onto the texture slot of the image input. I change the Blend Mode to Pass Through and lower the opacity of the generator. I also change the fill color to a light gray blue. I make a new folder to contain all of my layers and rename it. I drag my layers into the folder. can now right click on the folder and generate a smart material. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video about making a matte plastic material, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or texture art. So if you're interested in those topics, you may enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.